What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. Now while Empire gears up to drop their normal Marvel preview issue in anticipation of Moon Knight and with a possible TV spot or trailer coming tomorrow which we'll touch on during this video, we actually got an early update from the man himself Kevin Feige talking about just how brutal the show is, how it's a departure from what they've normally done on Disney Plus and for a lot of us who were hoping the show would go that direction it's super exciting. We're breaking down exactly what Kevin Feige said and this brand new screenshot which persona this is of the upcoming Moon Knight, but first, if you could consider hitting the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and we're giving away a ton of PS5s all the way up to a million subscribers, so if you're into either of those sort of things, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below. That automatically enters you for all the giveaways, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So this brand new still shot we got from Empire is in anticipation of a brand new TV spot to go along with the big game tomorrow. It's anticipating where we'll see this. Kevin Feige, in an interview online, though released early from Empire Magazine, had to say this about the Disney Plus limited series, quote, he's brutal. It's been fun to work with Disney Plus and see the boundaries shifting on what we're able to do. There are moments in the series where Moon Knight is wailing on a character and it's loud and it's brutal. And the knee-jerk reaction is, we're going to pull back from this, right? No, we're not pulling back. There's a tonal shift. This is a very different thing. This is Moon Knight. And what he means by the moments in the series where Moon Knight is wailing on another character, we've sort of already seen a touch of that in the first teaser. The sentence before that where he's talking about work with Disney Plus and see how the boundaries are shifting and what they're able to do is referring to the obvious, very constrained rules that they have to follow for the PG-13 guidelines that they've always had for Marvel Cinematic Feature films. On Disney Plus though, they're outside of that. That's how we were able to see things like blood on John Walker's shield during that scene in Falcon in the Winter Soldier and how they're able to be a lot more viscerally violent in this upcoming series which is on par for the character Moon Knight and get away with it because again they don't have to stick to a PG-13 rating and as we've mentioned many times here at the channel it's pretty obvious there are other characters from Moon Knight who could really use a non-PG-13 rating namely Deadpool who's already been rated R twice in his previous films and of course The Punisher whose series on Netflix was so ridiculously violent I have no idea how they're going to do that character any justice on Disney unless they do the exact same. Now if you're asking yourself who exactly is Mr. Knight we've already seen Moon Knight. We've talked about this quite a bit at the channel. Surely you've watched other videos that have done it, but it's pretty pretty much this simple. In addition to Mark Spector, who's his actual character, there are other personas. There's Stephen Grant, who's a millionaire from the comics, apparently is just going to be a shop worker in the show. There's the informant, Jake Lockley. There's Moon Knight, and then there's also the Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight, a little more measured, a little more calm, a little more thinking it through, and as this Empire still shot would have us believe, a little more sophisticated than, say, Moon Knight, who's just really Really all out ready to beat things up all the time. And I'm sure you guys have heard the fact that Taskmaster from the Marvel Universe actually won't mimic Moon Knight's fighting style because there are times when Moon Knight just decides to take a punch for no reason other than taking it. Obviously, Mr. Knight has a lot of room for uh, character growth in that anything is more sophisticated than that. Now quickly about the new Marvel footage we're supposed to see at the big game tomorrow. This is what I will tell you. About a week and a half ago, several trusted industry inside sources who usually nail this sort of thing said we were getting two things from Marvel tomorrow. A new trailer or TV spot for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and new Moon Knight footage in the form of a TV spot or as part of a Disney Plus sizzle reel, and while I'm as unsure as ever if we're getting any new Doctor Strange footage tomorrow, I'll try to have an update before the game. I have heard from multiple sources still that we're getting some new Moon Knight footage. We're just not sure if it's a TV spot or a sizzle reel. Usually when Disney and Marvel do this, they do it in the second half of the game. I don't know how important that is to some of you who are going to try to stay up who are looking for this trailer, but of course, as soon as any of that footage goes live, we'll have it here at the channel with the full breakdown. Make sure to check back. Now quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million, and we're doing it at every 20,000 subscribers, which we're already to almost the next one at 940. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way you're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, and as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking that out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.